Today we're going to look at Venn diagrams and two-way tables. A two-way table lists the number of outcomes in different categories. So here we've got an example of students that were surveyed, 100 students were surveyed, uh, as to whether they liked English and as to whether they liked maths. So the table has the columns liking maths and not liking maths, and the, the uh, rows liking English and do not liking, uh, not liking English. So the total of each of the columns is down the bottom here and the total of each of the rows is also at the side here. So the total of students that like English is 61 and the total of students who do not like English is 39. The total of students who like maths is 33 and the total of students who do not like maths is 67. The total number of students who were surveyed is 100. Each of the different uh, numbers in the table that aren't the totals show the students who are part of each of the four categories. So the four categories are liking maths and liking English, liking English but not liking maths, liking maths but not liking English, and not liking either maths or English. We can work out and determine the probabilities of finding a different student in each of the four categories or even combinations of those categories using these two-way tables. So the probability that a student likes maths, all of the students that like maths total 33. So it doesn't matter whether they like English or not, the total number of students that like maths is 33 out of the total number of students surveyed, which was 100. The probability of not liking maths or English is 34, so these students do not like maths or English. It's 34 students out of a total of 100, and that goes down to 17, the probability of 17 out of 50. A Venn diagram is a visual representation of the data that we had in the two-way table there. You can see that it doesn't have any of the totals that we had. We need to calculate, or you need to calculate those from the Venn diagram. So here we've got two circles. This circle represents the students who like maths, and this student uh, circle represents the students that like English. So the, t the number in this uh, in this part of the circle here, five, is the number of students who like maths but did not like English. They're not part of the liking English circle. The students at the, the intersection of the two circles here are the students that like maths and liking English. They're part of both circles. So that's 28 students liked maths and liked English. The number here, 33, shows this number of students who like English but don't like maths. They're not part of the mat liking maths circle. They're outside of that circle, they're just part of the liking English circle. And this number down the bottom corner here is the number of students who aren't part of either circle. They do not like maths or English, 34. So if we were to try and calculate probabilities from, from a Venn diagram, we need to work out what the total number of students are. So the total number of students that like maths doesn't matter whether they like English or not, is going to be 5 plus 28. So the total number of students that like maths, like maths is going to be 33. The total number of students who like English is going to be 28 plus 33. So that's going to be 61 students liking English. And the total number of students that like maths or English is going to be the addition of all of the numbers together. So it's going to be 66 students liking maths or liking English. And you can see that that number, the total number 66 in here plus 34 is the total number of students who were surveyed 100. So adding up all of these four numbers gets us the total number of students who were surveyed. Looking at an example now, the following two-way table shows two different traits of animals in a zoo. So we've got the first trait along the top here, eats meat, 
does not eat meat, so no meat and the total. And we've got sleeps in the day, sleeps at night and the total there. You can see the total number of animals um, in the zoo is 100. The total number of animals that sleeps in the day is 32. The total number that sleep at night is 68. The total number that have no that eat no meat is 40. The total number that eat meat is 60. So we're asked to find the probability that an animal sleeps at night, find the probability that an animal eats meat or sleeps in the day. If an animal eats meat, what is the probability that it sleeps during the day? And what is the probability that an animal that sleeps through the day does not eat meat? So looking at the first one, finding the probability that an animal sleeps at night. The animals that sleep at night, there are a total of 68 out of 100. So the probability is 68 out of 100, which is 17 25ths. The probability that an animal eats meat or sleeps in the day. The animals that eat meat, there are a total of 60. So these, these animals eat meat. The animals that sleep in the day are 12 and 20, but these 20 already eat meat. So it's going to be these three categories here that fit our event, that, uh, the, that an animal eats meat or it sleeps during the day. So if we add these three squares up, we get 72. 72 out of 100, which is 18 over 25. The probability of an animal that sleeps during the day, uh, sleeps during the day if it eats meat. So all of the animals that eat meat, all of the animals that eat meat are 60. So we just look at the total of animals that eat meat. Uh, the reason we've done that is because we're looking, we're only looking at the animals that eat meat. It says so, it's, it asks that in the question. If an animal eats meat, so we're just looking at the animals that eat meat, what is the probability that it sleeps during the day? So the animals that eat meat and sleep during the day are, six, are 20 out of the total of 60. So 20 out of 60 is one third. Finally, the probability that of an animal uh, does, does not eat meat if it sleeps through the day. So we have a look at all of the animals that sleep through the day, that's 32. That's all of the animals that sleep through the day. The animals that don't eat meat if they sleep through the day is 12. So it's 12 out of the 32. 12 out of 32 is 3 eighths.